<laughs> okay, everything we take on a nine day or nine night, eight day or ten day trip. Our nightly stuff, we have these lanterns that do open up. Troy, open that. We got our bug sticks. We have a fan. These come in handy for at night around the campfire. Um, instead of getting down and blowing on the fire to get it going, we'll set up a fan. Gives oxygen to the fire. Um, there it is. Um, next we have our thermocells. These are a must have um, along with the 100 deep repel. Two night headlamps. Then of course we have extra flashlights, a whistle with a compass on it. Um, this is actually just a lantern that a friend made for me out of copper. Um, has the candles in there. Um, fire starters. Um, solar for our phones. Um, GoPro. We have a basic solar panel. Um, some emergency solar chargers. And then we take three of the power packs um, that just kind of charges up our um, phones, GoPro, um, a pair of binoculars, then just on emergency stuff we have extra rope, um, bungees, these are real nice to secure your rods on the canoe, um, secure tarps down, um, just nice to have, <coughs> excuse me, um, flex tape, um, keep that just in case something happens to the canoe, tent, um, toiletry bags, um, we bring, these are nice, um, toilet containers. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste. These are also nice bungees. The ball um, hold things down onto the kayak or canoe, whichever you take. Um, just a basic knife. Kitchen supplies that we take. Um, this set here, um, this is our second set. We like these a little bit better. It all fits right inside of there. Um, comes with the wash um, basket, a big pot, four plates. Um, this is actually bowls and cup. I'm gonna take that apart, Troy. One thing nice with the cups is on the inside there is a measuring um, cup on the inside a lid keeps the yuckies out um, comes with an another smaller pot a frying pan two lids um, that's the cup and the bowl um, again all this just fits right inside there um, keeps it all together.
and then that fits on top. Um, grill mats, we take those in case we want to do our bacon on the grill. Um, the first night we have hot dogs brought, so we cook those on the mat. Um, our spoons, we have four of these. They're spoons, forks, and the knife. Um, real compact. Got our ladle, our tongs, and spatula. Um, these fold out. Um, we take two cooking stoves. Um, one to boil water, one to fry the fish. We end up taking for our trip four canisters. Um, I think we've used three of them is the most we've ever used. Next, we got just a little micro towel, a dry cooling rag. Nice to have out on the water when it gets hot. Um, this stuff here all stays on the canoe. Um, it's kind of just an emergency kit. We got emergency sleeping bags, duct tape, um, rope to tie us down, um, tie us off, and our life straws. Um, those all stay, like I said, on the canoe. Um, your maps. We have two sets of maps. One stays on the canoe. Um, one stays in our backpack. Um, next we have our machete, our hatchet, and our saw. This actually folds out. Um, used for chopping wood, cutting wood, things like that. Um, fillet knife. Um, we got these granite gear canoe bags. And the one thing that's nice about these is in the bottom, it actually zips and it has your cutting board right inside. So that's nice to have. That way you don't have, it's all together. Um, playing cards, cribbage board, hacky. Um, you know, when you're hanging out at camp, you want something to do. Fishing gear. Um, you always want to make sure you have a stringer. We take extra um, string. This isn't the actual gear we take, but just so I remember to point it out. Sinkers. Um, we have four of these, two per person. They're really nice. Um, take the cap off and it pulls out to a nice fishing rod. Um, of course, attach your reel on it. Um, extra flashlights. Um, we keep a gator mask, gloves. Um, I'll also put a stocking cap in there just in case for when it gets cold at night. Um, these are the lanterns actually pulled out. Um, they light up pretty well. Um, when they're down in this position, it's actually a flashlight. Um, pop them open, they become a lantern. Um, water tablets. When we go, we have water bottles that have the filters in it. When we're paddling, out fishing, we just dump them in the water. Um, that's these. Um, we each have one and then we have a backup that for at camp um, to do dishes or um, anything like that or if our filters aren't working, we'll use the water tablets. Um, shovel. Um, take the shovel for a couple different reasons. You want to bury your um, fish after you skin them. Um, also, if you're out, there's not a latrine and you got to do the do, you bury that. 
Um, next we have our hats. Nice wide brim on them. Um, rain gear. We take a rain gear suit for each of us. And those stay in our day backpack. This little backpack is what we take with us when we go out just fishing and for our day trips. Um, keeps our frog togs, lunch, um, that in there. Uh, medical kit. Um, if you want a detailed list of what we take in our medical kit, um, just ask and I will do that. These, though, I did want to point out. Um, zip stitches. Thankfully, we've never used them, but um, nice to have. They are kind of expensive. I think this one was $40 for one of them. Um, but nice just in case, you know, you need to sew somebody up. We do have a sewing kit, um, you know, so worst case scenario. Um, dry shoes. I have two sets of shoes. I have the ones I wear at camp. Um, and then as you see, my regular water shoes. An extra tarp. The tarp we'll use at our camp, set up for shade. Um, we also have one in our tent bag. Um, we have the Kelty Gunson 4. Um, really nice tent. Um, inside the tent, we got our sleeping pad. Um, the one thing with this sleeping pad, it's nice, um, goes up to four inches thick, but the bag itself, um, you connect it here, connect it to the sleeping pad, it blows it up. Um, so those are really nice. We just upgraded those this year um, and really like those. Uh, sleeping bag, um, our pillows, these are real nice, decent size pillow, couple breasts, you have it aired up, um, hammock, and then we also take um, chairs. Now this is mine folded up, um, this is Troy's. Um, his is a little different than mine. He upgraded this year. Mine doesn't actually have the headrest, um, which he said he really liked for watching stars. Um, going back to the sleeping stuff, we pack everything inside the pump bag for our mattress. Um, so in there is the pillow, sleeping bag, mattress, hammock. It's all right in that bag. Um, we each carry a dry bag. Um, that goes with us everywhere for our cell phone, um, extra toilet paper, things like that. And then we have the food barrel which I will make a video on all the food that we take with us. Um, so yeah, that's everything that we bring with us for a nine night, 10 day trip um, to the Boundary Waters. Um, and everything goes into our two portage bags. We got the Granite Gear Superior. And what's the other one? The Granite Gear Quatico bag, um, which we just got that one this year, um, but we had the Superior one last year. It worked really well. So that's why we went with the second littler bag, just to can put everything in the bags. Um, so yeah, any questions, let us know. Um, if you want compar comparison on different things, like I said, we got two different types of stoves. Um, we've upgraded our lanterns, cooking set, chairs. So, all right. Well, I hope this helped um, and we'll see you next time.